Hi! Hello lovelies, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel, my name is Hannah and this is the place where I watch basically whatever I want. And yes, welcome back! I've had a little bit of a pause on reaction videos for a little bit now. Um, I just had a bunch of stuff come up, I was tired for a little bit, uh, so I just wanted a few days to relax because I had definitely been doing a lot uh, and I hadn't been like restricting myself. I was just filming whenever I could and uploading whenever I could and usually that will make me tired out real quick uh, so I decided to like just pause for a few days uh, just do like shorter content and that was really it and I spent yesterday like editing um, my birthday vlog so that will be out soon uh, we will see um, I think I'm about finished but I will see if I have anything else I want to do um, but anyway though that's a little bit of an update on me today we are finally here to do the cinema paradise Sarah base one listen um, this was released almost five days ago now yeah it's been five days uh, it was released Monday today's Friday the day I'm filming this and the day that I'll probably be going up uh, and again I'm so sorry that it took a bit but I just had things come up um, and I had my birthday I, I had a bunch of stuff happen so obviously I watched the music video um, you can go up in there in that corner Oh, it's so hard to point. You can go in that corner right there uh, and you can watch uh, and check that out um, if you're interested, of course. Um, but today we're going to be doing the actual album listen. This is all going to be one part. I decided I have we decided that and we'll see if this video is really long but I don't think it will be we have five songs to get to today um, we will not be including Yura Yura so I believe that is five songs or no, it might be six. Now I'm not counting it right because I'm right here. But I believe that they had seven songs. So it's five new songs. Is that right? I'm just going to check to make sure real quick that we are correct here. Let me see. Yes, there are seven songs. But since we have already heard Good So Bad, there's five new songs. Got that. We'll be including the performance 37 um, of good so bad so that is going to be here but other than that it's all new music and i'm very excited about it so let's look ahead and see here what i have so we're going to be listening to obviously like i said we'll check out the performance 37 of good so bad uh and that'll be obviously a little bit of a rewatch because We've already listened to the song, uh, but I want to see the performance of it, so we're going to be including that. Uh, and then we're going to be watching some lyric videos. So we have Killed the Romeo, uh, and then we have Pada, uh, which th is a remake. I don't know exactly from where. I'm going to check it, but like right before we get to it, but it's a remake song that they did. Um, and we're going to be watching the uh, special video that they did, and then we'll do the full version of the song, because the special video is only like half of the song. Um, and then we have all songs after that, only lyric videos, so we have Insomnia, Road Movie, and Eternity, and that is what we are getting to today. I'm really excited. Um, Again, it's been a little bit, and usually I'm pretty on time. I think with um, the last album, I think with You Had Me at a Low, I was there like on the day, um, but that was because I'd like planned it in, uh, and now I just kind of fell out of my hands, so to say. Um, but I am very excited to get to it today, and I hope you are as well. So sorry to all of you zeroes who have been waiting, but I'm finally here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. I think I need to change my shirt actually because it's quite warm outside. So I'm gonna change my shirt. And then we'll be back, and then I'm going to check out the Good So Bad Performance 37, and then we'll dive into the new music after that. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's go. Alright, lovely. So let's go ahead and get into our first song in this EP. This is Kill the Romeo. Uh, the reason why I'm reacting like this and why I'm a little bit stiff and like kind of scared going into this is because if you remember last time uh if you remember listening to had you had me at a low uh the first song after like the first song on the album i can't remember if solar power was first or like the song after uh feel the pop but solar power is my favorite stair bass one song uh, and that one was like immediate. <laughs> that one came out like that was one of the first songs on the album. Uh, and I like was immediately I fell for it. And then I just realized to do it over and over and over again. I still rewatch my reactions sometimes because it was 
kind of pathetic. <laughs> um, but because of that, I'm really nervous that they're going to like keep the same sort of rhythm, keep the same like setup with their albums and just going to go out with the f- most intense one first. I really don't know. We'll see, though. Um, but yeah, with such an intense title, I wonder if this is going to be where the toxicity is coming, perhaps. Um, maybe, perhaps, because again, killed Romeo. I'm intrigued. Um, but anyway, though, a little quick thing, of course, we'll be watching each of these only once because it's a lyric video, um, just so you know. Uh, and also, all of these are going to be from Sati Farhani uh, because they were the one who uploaded them first. And I don't think any channel has done any lyric videos, even like since it's been a few days. Uh, so I decided to do just there and there. So all of the lyric videos are from them, uh, just so you know. Um, but anyway, I'm nervous. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and into our first song, Kill the Romeo. Let's go. Okay. Whoa, I, saw, I, I can't tell if that's like one of those like clicking instruments, like the ones that they use these ones, or if it's like somebody like clicking their like tongue or something like, you know what, you do this? Like, I can't tell whatever it is, but... Are we gonna get like a Latin vibe? Because it feels like I'm already ready to like do a little like, like Zumba, not Zumba, that's the, that's the like, I saw like Samba or some type of like Latin dance style, like flamenco. Oh, like something like that. That's what I'm about to do right now. <laughs> Hold on. I think they're clicking their tongue. Okay. Uh. Uh. Shut up right now. First of all, we need to turn this up. Also, how did that go from that? Like, how did this, how did the previous part, how did the intro go into this? You know what I mean? Like, we're sort of, like I said, like a Latin vibe. We were dancing, we're having fun, and then it just went, whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> That's crazy. So I'm the, I'm the Romeo they're going to kill right now. Or we're killing, hold on. I'm, 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 in, I'm intrigued. I haven't read the lyrics that well because I was just stunned by the instrumental, but hold on. It's better. I want this in my brain. Okay, so we're saying like, even if we are a tragic romance, whatever, let's just go for it either way. Like, even if this is a tragedy, like, even if this is like, um, a bad thing for us, let's just go into it nonetheless. I think that's sort of what they're saying, but the way, again, this is insane, I feel like this like I said, I need this injected in me right now. Hold on. Look, if I, can I start from the beginning again with that? Sorry, this is gonna take forever now. Back. Party song, like I. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Oh
Yeah, or like change up the we're changing up the story, you know what I mean? Let's just let's just murder him. <laughs> I'm so stunned. Hold on, I'm not ready for it again. That oh, both the way that Chang and Tere both deliver that part is insane. Cause they like they they go high and then they just kind of like how should I put it? They like just like let it. They they go high and then they let it go. Does that make sense? I don't know, but the delivery is so so satisfying. <laughs> The juxtaposition, the difference between the first part of the chorus and the second part is crazy because at first it's just like bum 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 and then it's like that 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 like it's crazy but i love it wow it is the i have like with every single group because of the way like i feel like a group usually has a similar structure to al every album that doesn't mean like every like like they have they didn't release the same album every time no but they usually like let's do the first like most groups i would say generally they're like let's do the most intense songs first then we'll do a little bit of a middle ground and then we'll do the sadder songs or like the more mellow songs last. So we start high and then we go low. Like that's usually how they go like down there. Uh, I don't know if there's any groups. I think maybe some groups do it. I think 17 kind of does it like like up, like down to up. Um, but that's the way that I feel most groups do it. So usually the first songs are the ones where I'm like, whoa, this is my jam. Uh, and then we kind of go to like a little bit of a mellower vibe later so like i kind of expected this but also it's so different still like it's not anything like soul power but they feel like they're sisters in some weird way you know what i mean with the energy that we have at least that's my opinion that from the beginning hold on oh again jiwoong and ricky are always so good at a bridge like they're the best when there's a bridge coming up and they come up i'm like this is gonna slay here we go i'm shouting out <laughs> Slay. Oh my god. 
My god, I've been touching my glasses too much and I feel like I fogged them up. Ugh. Okay, okay. Slay. Snap my fingers. That was such a good song, man. Wow. Again, it's got that, it's like a mix between club and just intenseness. It's It, it had this like G5 as well of like, almost like funk music. Like P-H-O-N-K. Like funk music. Like almost that. But then it was also just like, you know, like, I, I, one second I was, like, getting stunned by that, what I was hearing and, like, just the way that it sounded. And then the next second I was, like, like, it was crazy. But I love that difference of, like, the the different parts. Ah, oh, they slayed. Oh, the vocals in the song were so good. Like, I loved, I loved the delivery, like, actually during the, like, chorus. I thought that was great. It's cute. The Romeo, like, I, I like that a lot, but the, like, verses and that part, make me run away, ah, uh, so good, I love that, wow, yeah, 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 it happened again, it happened again, folks, I need to remember where solar power was in the actual, I'm sorry that I'm looking at my phone right now as we're doing the reaction, but I want to know where the frick solar power was on the album if that was the first or the second perhaps it was the first song on the album they slay the first song what can i say well this this is not the first technically it's the second because they decided to have the the title track be the first but still it's the first song that isn't the title track and it slayed so hard i love that I'm going to re-listen to that a lot. Again, we'll see. I love Solar Power, Solar Power so much. It's such a sick song. And I just... <laughs> whenever I listen to that now, I do the TikTok challenge that they did. Um, but we'll see, though. I love this vibe a lot. It was really good. Um, but anyway, now we're going to go ahead and get into the song that uh, they released their special video for. We're going to watch the Pada music video or special summer video is, I think, what they called it. Summer... Yeah, special summer's video. I think it was what they called it. Um, so I don't know. I haven't seen any like clips from this. I think I think I stayed away from it very well. Uh, so we'll see if I remember or know any of this. Um, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna see who the remake is. Like who is the original artist? I'm gonna see that right before we get into it. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get to our next song. We're gonna watch the video first and then listen to the full song. Uh, so yeah, let's go. All right, lovelies. I go. I went ahead and uh, checked who the original song song maker was. Um, so the song is from 1997, the original song. So it's almost 30 years old, which is crazy. Um, and the original artist is called Up or UP. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, but that is the original song uh, maker, and I believe probably from the way that that is like almost 30 years old. Like I said, I believe that I probably have not heard it. But then again. I don't know for sure. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm excited. We're going to check out this summer video first, and then we'll listen to the full song in a lyric video. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Oh, hello. Is this from Jeju? No, it's not from Jeju. Maybe. Ooh, not, oh. It, they were filming this when they were there. So was this, wait, where was this? This might have been in America then? No, because yeah, yeah, when they went to Jeju, they had like different hair colors. This was when, like, Hanbin is blonde here. So maybe this is, is this in America perhaps? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway though. I see that Jewing right there. You posted pictures. I don't remember again where they were at the time, but they were somewhere. <laughs> Wait, they posted they posted a clip of that somewhere. Oh god. I don't remember, but I saw that when they were like standing by the sea and then they got like splashed. I don't remember. 
That Matthew has. <laughs> like, I love the difference of the guys who are like not wearing any shirts and then it's just like. I guess all the pictures of the differences. It was like Ji Wong and Matthew like were shirtless in the pool and then like. <laughs> Tyre and, and uh, Chan Kao were wearing like t shirts in the pool. Which that would be me. I don't like like. Wearing like I like wearing some extra layers in the pool because I get cold. I'm trying to catch because now they're in the city. Yeah, they probably are in LA, right? Calif it says California up there. Are they in LA? Maybe this was for KCON? Was it? Were they here for KCON? They, they, that was happening, right? It might have been where they were uh, for KCON, that's right. I love the 90s vibe of this. Hold on. <laughs> Hamid was like, why did you run off? Did you see his face? <laughs> oh, they're just looking at him. I love that. That's so cute. All right. That was the uh, special summer video too for Pada. I don't know why, but I feel like I've heard that before. It might be like a... Like something that they use often in like reality shows or variety shows perhaps? Because I feel like I might have heard that somewhere. Or maybe it was just like, it's like very catchy so immediately I was like, oh this feels familiar but it's just because my brain likes the way it sounds. Sometimes that happens. Um, but yeah, I'm intrigued, I'm curious. So we're going to go ahead and get into the uh, actual full song now. Uh, so we're going to hear that in a Lurk video version. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and into that. Let's go. All right, lovely. So it's going to get into our next song and the full song for Pada, the full version. Uh, I am very excited to hear this now because it sounded very fun. I love that they decided to release this song in August because I know for a lot of people, it's still very warm where they are, but here it's just kind of sad now. <laughs> like we're almost getting to like the very like um, the part of fall where it's like quite cold in the air, but it's not like snowing yet obviously that'll be like two months away probably where it's gonna snow uh so i that's gonna be great to be back into the winter months it's i i don't i don't dislike winter but it's just so much more sad um but anyway though let's go ahead and have some fun though and listen to this and just enjoy ourselves let's do that these pictures are not gonna match the vibe <laughs> Like, I love the delivery of this. It's just very, like, cutesy, you know? Da, 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 da. Oh,
Give it vocals, give it vocals. Ah, uh, I love whenever the like rappers sing more because I know that like all of the members, like they're basically all rappers and all like singers, honestly. Like, I gotta say that, we can say that. Um, but especially with Gonduk and with Given, whenever they sing, it's like, ah, because they both have such like pretty voices. And then whenever they rap, they completely like change it up usually. Given can do like these kind of cutesy raps sometimes, but like when Gonduk does it, it sounds completely different from when he sings. It's crazy. Anyway, though. <laughs> It just sounds familiar because it's very like a catchy song already at least that's what i'm assuming i don't know though it might be that i've heard it somewhere before because if it is like quite an older song then like perhaps i don't know though <laughs> really fun yeah I, again for me it's not really summer anymore so like i can't really feel <laughs> these vibes uh it's still warm outside though but it's just like very very sad um but this was really fun of course again like i said i don't know if i heard the song um but it felt very familiar um i like the way that they were singing it it was very like playful and fun and even though i know that obviously they take themselves very seriously um like it still felt like it was a little less serious you know what i mean like they were just seemingly having fun like recording this um and i enjoyed that i thought that was very fun uh so yeah i want to check real quick again i don't know i'm sorry that i'm going on my phone so much but i want to like compare this to the last album which song was after yeah, Dear Eclipse was after, and that song was very different. So I was like, we're going a little bit off track of what it was like last album. But maybe now we're going to get the sexy song, because that one is called Insomnia. And I don't know, perhaps it could be that way. But maybe it'll be a little darker. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, that was a lot of fun, obviously. We just had some, like, some good vibes. And now we're going to head and see if this is going to be depressing or not. We'll find out right now. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and listen to Insomnia. Let's go. <laughs> All right, lovely. So let's go ahead and get into our next song. This is called Insomnia. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and see if this is going to be depressing or not. Uh, I feel like because of these pictures that were used, probably not. But then again, if they used those ones for Pada, then probably not. Uh, we'll see though. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and see what we have next. Let's go. This feels like a game soundtrack and I love it already. Like this feels like it could be in like either a racing game or like a like a uh, PV, not a PVP, like a party game of some kind. It feels that way, you know what I mean? Like I love it. It's like this kind of like bouncy feel and it's like not too fast, but it like it's fast, but it's not also that intense. I like it. Hold on. Okay. Oh, 
voice effect, that voice effect. Let's go. We're back with it. Again, I talked about it, but like the neurodivergent traits are coming out right now. Hold on. <laughs> on yeah so it's not that intense it's not that sad it's not too intense they're just saying that they have insomnia because they can't stop thinking about me which is very nice thank you guys i love <laughs> i love that i am that important to you uh sorry delulu time um but yeah it's just about that jitteriness and that like 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 a nervousness of like oh my god imagine if i meet that person tomorrow like what am i gonna say what am i what am i gonna do like how am i supposed to act around them i really don't know because i think they're so cool but like you know like how how are you supposed to be around a person like that and like that is very much how i am as well um but that's very cute and i like this vibe a lot like i said Hold on. I like that vibrating sound a lot as well. This gives me also a kind of, it's kind of almost throwback in some ways, but not really. But that like, like that vibrating, you know? Like, what is it? I don't know how they can, like, make me feel this way. Where I'm, like, some parts of a song, I'm just like, yay, this is so much fun. And then at the next part, I'm like, okay. You know, like, I don't know how they do that. But they somehow do that every single time. Ooh. Oh, the too short too short of a song i love that we should have had like a last part at the very least come on man that was really fun i really like that but like instrumental a lot like i said it's like not like i said it's not too uh intense but also like it's, it's intense it's intense enough and then it's like not that slow but it's not too fast either like it's a perfect mix of that um and i thought that there's like their vocal abilities is perfect for a song like this because like their like voices make you feel like you're floating and i feel like that's supposed to, like that's the way that the song is supposed to make you feel and it just fits perfectly because again i felt like at, at some parts i was just having a lot of fun but then like for example at that last part i was like you know i feel i felt like i was ascending you know and I love that. I thought that was very fun. Um, but yeah, very cute lyrics as well. I was like, maybe I shouldn't have taken it that seriously. But again, with that trailer, with the uh, So Bad trailer, I was like, there's got to be something that is a little bit like spookier. But we still have two songs left, though. So we'll see, perhaps. Um, but yeah, this is very, very fun, though. And very, like, sweet in the lyrics. And also, like, 
little bit of a little bit of a dance song. I could party a little bit to it. Um, but yeah, all right. Next song is S- Road Movie. That's right. I was almost I was gonna say Sunday Ride, but I was like that was from the last album. That was not correct. Uh, but this is Road Movie. Very interesting song title. I'm very curious to see what it will be like, but I'm assuming because this is like it's called Cinema Paradise, maybe we're going into like a drive-in, like a drive-in theater, and that's like what we're doing. I don't know. I'm curious to curious to see. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into our next to last song, I believe, because there's one song after this, I believe, Eternity. That's right. Is that called Eternity? I think it was. Ew, I think it was. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead into the next song. Let's go. All right, lovely. So let's go ahead and get into our next song. This is Road Movie. These pictures are so cute, by the way. So I'm assuming we're going to get a little bit of a cutesier vibe here. Um, although you never know. Um, but yeah, we'll see if my theories are correct. Let's go ahead and get into our next song. Whoa. building. Everybody want to see on the train said don't get it on the seat come away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody put me here if you can. This is going to be like hip hop. I don't get it on the Jesus, Jesus, is it gonna be like hip hop? That's not what I was expecting. What an intro to a song. That was almost like 30 seconds. That's crazy. Everybody want to see on the track, said don't get it on the seat, I come my way. Say what? Everybody put me in, keep your hand on the board, I'm just taking my way. Hey, to turn a new track, you'll get new road. Turn your new track to the future. So, how long you keep your boat on your crew? Get on the sink and ask her, let me care. Love that wordplay. Um, yeah, not what I was expecting at all. But again, usually when I like try to guess the vibe based on a title of a song, it usually goes very, very bad. Cause like that is just like the the first thought you have. But they usually go with like a little bit of like a th- like an afterthought, so to say. Like not in a bad way, but they're like, let's do, let's let's pick let's do a song, and then we'll pick the most like ambiguous phrase from the song to put as the title because i would not have known that the song would sound like this just based on vogue movie and i didn't but that's very very interesting already hold on so we're driving are we like fast and furious Why is oh this is so sick already? I was like, Kill the Romeo is gonna like like be the favorite of the album for sure. And it was the first song. So I shouldn't have maybe I, I shouldn't have thought that way, maybe. But usually like the last part of the album is like the one that is like the least intense. And it's not that crazy. Like truly not that crazy. But they're just there's so many different vibes in like one song that it's driving me crazy. There's so many different sounds in one song that it's driving me crazy. I like it, but it's like I don't know how to keep up with it. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm ten steps behind. My brain is way behind on what's happening right now. Hold on. Because that first part and this part right before the chorus is so dreamy. And then it's more of like an almost old school hip hop vibe. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know how they thought of this, but I love them for this. Oh, 
Alright, you could get you right to the right. Let Ricky's doing the chorus. Let's go. Mom, just I'm the marest. Talk to her, don't be all easy. Hot lights, so she just did all the sea. We're singing, don't we got it? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Let go, girl, girl, me go, that I got go. Say, it don't me, put your chest in control. You totally, you don't do it. Thank you. I'm not so. I'm my signature. That much your head. Like, hold on. She always back to it. It's crazy. And the way that he, I get Ricky, Ricky drives me wild. Like. I usually don't have bias records because I'm like, you're just a bias at that point. Like, if I think about you that much, you're a bias. But Ricky, like, drives me nuts every single day. Like, it's a, it's a new picture. It's a new, like, sound bite. You know what I mean? Like, it's a new part of a song that drives me nuts. And the fact that he was able to do the chorus like that, and then he's just like, ha! I'm, again, usually, Sarah Bass One's albums are a wild ride because they are so unpredictable in what song they're gonna make I, I, i'm just i'm just stunned i'm just so stunned anyway like what i can't i can't i can't i'm officially on strike Ah! It took a second. Oh my god. Oh my god. It took a little bit of a more like it took a little bit longer than last time to drop. But that was like almost more impactful. Ah. And everyone's just rapping, and I love that. That's so sick. Oh, what is that again? That wow! It's it's like we're zooming in a car, but also not really. It's kind of creepy. This is where the creepy. This is all where the creepy vibes kind of stacked in. But it's not really even a creepy song. It's just. They're using a lot of creepy noises. I was almost about to take my headphones out because <laughs> I was like, this gotta be the last song, right? I don't have another one going after this. I do. We have one more song. We have eternity. But that was crazy. So, like, when I talked about, like, the song changing up a lot in Kill the Romeo, like, that was true. Yes, it did change up a lot. But this one was even more so. Like, such such a drastic change up in between the parts that it's like crazy because in kill the romeo it was just like dance music to like bam bam you know like that but here is like pretty like the the, the intro sounded like hold on i'm gonna listen to the intro again because it's crazy And then we just go into that immediately. That's it's crazy. I um like I almost forgot like how the intro sounded because we just went off track so hard. But again, forgive me if I like it's kind of not really true, but it does feel like old school hip hop to me in a way. You know what I mean? And that is crazy to go from that to just like this song, you know what I mean? 
it's it's wild but I love that for them though I love again I'm a, I'm a big fan of experimental music like it's my favorite thing in the entire world so I'm so happy that they did do this however it's still kind of like whoa whoa that's crazy but I loved it though it was really really interesting again I feel like Kill the Romeo is like the clear on top right now but also I don't know listening more to this I feel like it could really hit me good We'll see, though. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into our last song, which is called Eternity. Last time, the last song kicked me on my ass and made me feel really emotional. So hopefully it's not as emotional. But we'll see, though, because, again, Hello was crazy. It made me really sad. So <laughs> I'm intrigued. I'm excited to see what Eternity is going to sound like. And then we are finished for the album. Let me know if you have anything you would like to see. Uh, I know that they have a bunch, uh, like released a bunch of stuff since then. So I need to check some stuff out. So let me know what I'm missing. Uh, and I definitely need to do a bunch of catch ups as well. Like at the summer really made me like slow down my roll. And so I'm very late on a lot of stuff. So please let me know what you would like to see and I'll get to it when I can. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get to our last song and then we are done for today. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Alright, lovely. Let's go ahead and get into our last song. This is Eternity. And if you see my confused race face right now, it's because the first second is not what I assumed. And maybe we're gonna have like a flip side to the previous song of like you're gonna have an intense intro, but a like sweeter other parts of the song. Cause that did not feel like the outro song for one of their albums. You know what I mean? I'm really curious about this. Let's go ahead and get into our last song. Again, way too short, but it's fine because they just released another album like just three months ago. So it's not it's not that crazy. But still, let's go ahead and get into our last song. Let's go. Alright, alright. We just went a little crazy with the like drums in the first first few seconds and then we went sweeter with it. Okay, hold on, let me stop that from the beginning. Did you hear that noise? It's very subtle. Hold on. What's that? So pretty. It's another one of these freaking songs where it's like it could be about a relationship, but it also could be about us. Us and Sarah Ray's fun because they keep reminding us constantly that eternity is not something that is achievable, something that is something that we can have. And I know that, I know that. But it's still, it's, it's still upsetting. It's still upsetting, you know? Anyway, continue, continue, guys. Hold on, hold on. I'm not ready for that. Like, continuing on after that part. That was so pretty. I love me a good, like, we're singing together type of chorus. This feels like it could be, like, uh, at the end of a movie. It was, like, it's a movie OST song. Like, at the end of the movie, when, like, the the stuff has happened and we kind of have come to a, re we have come to a resolution, sort of. Like, that kind of vibe. It's, like, that kind of feel. Hold on. Woo! Oh. 
너는 내게 이정표가 되어 날 붙잡아줘 Thank you, wow, it's I love that part. I love the, the way that they deliver that part as well, the chorus in this part. Ah, that ended too suddenly. That ended too suddenly. I love that message so much. It was kind of like sad, but also not really. It was like kind of hopeful, but also again sad. Man, that can't be the. Once again, they have like put me on my butt on the with the with the last song of the album. Of course, they did that. Of course, um, but that was so so sweet. I love that. Wow, we got another five star, baby. <laughs> I mean, Serious One has always like stumped me with their like ability to like make songs that like fit exactly what I need. I don't know how they do it. They just do it every single time. It's crazy. Um, they're just able to like perfectly mold what I need in a, like a song. It's crazy. Um, but I love all the different vibes here. Again, a lot of a lot of variety, a lot of different feels. And when we count in "Good So Bad," there's there's so many vibes, and it's kind of crazy that "Good So Bad" their title track is like the sweetest. Is, that's kind of crazy like the rest of the songs like there's some sweetness in there but like that's the sweetest one it's kind of crazy um but yeah what a what a road trip i'm really excited to <laughs> i'm really excited to like watch the um like watch me while i'm editing this because i feel like it's gonna be crazy uh, and hopefully i don't look too much of a mess now at least I hope so. Um, but yeah, usually I would do like a final rating where I will do like, um, I will write everything down. I'll write down like a synopsis or like a little blurb about how I feel at the end of this. But I need to uh, get my ass going and I need to go uh, shopping right now, which is not going to be that great because I feel like it's sort of raining a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely raining. Uh, so I need to like head out soon to like go shopping because I haven't done so yet. And it's my Friday, which is when I go shopping usually. Um, so I'm going to do that. So I'm, I'm not going to do a little like ending blurb here. But just so you know, this is definitely a five star. 100%. I will be listening to this whole album over because it was really, really fun. Uh, I loved all the different vibes and the vocals in this and the raps in this as well were stunning. Uh, so I really enjoy this. And maybe we'll see. I definitely... I still do not own a Serious Base 1 album, and I feel really embarrassed by that because I've reacted to them a lot over this last year. So I feel like I need to. Um, however, I have not done so yet. So we'll see with my birthday money that I got. I will possibly be getting uh, one of their albums. I don't know which one yet. I will have to think about it, but they only have four. So I, I think it's going to be a little easier to, like, narrow it down with them um but anyway though i hope you guys enjoyed this i will go on to the outro and i'll still have an outro of course but i won't be doing like my more form formal thing um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you in the outro where i will say my final things uh so yeah 
let's go all right lovely so i hope you guys enjoy that and again sorry to all of you zeros just that it's been almost a week since this was released i know i usually am better with this um however again sometimes things just don't go my way and sometimes things don't work out but i hope this made up for it and i hope you enjoyed it um so yeah I, i'm glad that i wasn't spoiled with like any of this um that makes me feel really good because usually sometimes when it's like my one of my faves you know it can be like spoiled a little bit ahead of time however we made it and uh, most of this was entirely new to me um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this hopefully everything worked out like i said i usually don't film in 4k so we'll see if any problems arise uh, i will see as soon as i'm editing this um but anyway though i think that's everything i wanted to mention though this is really fun i really enjoyed this i'm gonna listen to between like kill the romeo and a uh, road movie that was it right I think so. Uh, I'm going to need to re-listen to both of those and see which one is like the favorite favorite. I feel like Kill the Romeo it is it right now because that one was so sick. Um, but anyway though, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, let me know if you have anything that you want to see from this era or just from Cerebase 1 in general because I know that I am a little bit behind on a lot of stuff. So please let me know down in the comments what you would like to see. Um, and yeah, I think that is everything I wanted to say. So yeah, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing or going over to my Patreon and checking me out over there. That would be really helpful. Uh, and also, if you enjoyed this video, you can like it. That will also help me uh, get boosted in the algorithm. Um, and yeah, if you have anything to request, like I said, from Cerebase One or any other artists, leave it down in the comments below. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Free Palestine, and I'll see you in the next video.